Hey everybody, it's John Corelli, your average guy with his average guy opinions. Uh, episode 61, I hope you're having a good month of March. Um, let's talk about death a little bit. <laughs> not a fun thing to talk about, but I've been kind of surrounded by it lately. I'm not freaked out or anything, but I am uh, aware. Um, I know I'm, hey, maybe if I'm lucky I got another 30 years, that would be great. But, I, but I'm kind of surrounded by it lately, and I wanted to address it. Let's make an adjustment here. Um, I hope that works. Tire of that glare off my glasses. Anyway, um, looks like it's going to happen anyway. So, uh, I just found out uh, just like an hour ago that the principal of my school died. Um, she was in her 40s. Um, perfectly nice, well-loved and respected by the entire staff there. I've only been with this, on staff for about six months, though, so I don't know, didn't know her very well, basically said hi to her a few times. Uh, she did my second interview, which I guess is required because it was like a five-minute thing. She's like, uh, yeah, you seem like you're good for the job. It was one of those. Um, she's, uh, But she seems like a very well-loved, uh, well-liked, and um, a wonderful person and, and died early. I think she, like I said, I think she was in her 40s. Um, uh, I'm not gonna say, and then this is here. Here's here's where I'm, I'm. What the point of the video is about is I don't understand why when someone dies, we are often so secretive about the way they died. I I don't get it. Um, I know I don't know if it's just um, a phenomenon in this country. I don't know if it's human thing because you know we want to believe things that to me aren't realistic. Like we're going to heaven or hell. I don't believe in that because I'm an atheist. Um, as Ricky Gervais once said, we're worm food. That's honestly what I believe, which actually is not a bad thing when you think about it. Uh, if you believe that your remains go into the soil and help something else uh, eventually grow, that's kind of a cool thing, actually. That your the energy that you were will once, once again be used at some point in time. Um, but yeah, so when this person died, like I said, very well liked and well respected, um, they told us, it was natural causes, which is fine, but that that's a huge umbrella. And I don't I don't have a need to know about her death. Um, maybe it's none of my business on some level, but it, it did make me think about how lately uh, I've run into this quite a bit. Um, I, uh, you know, as like I said, this is video sixty one. I had to take video number twenty eight down. Um, who that was about my um, classmate who died and uh, had struggled with weight her whole life. And in the video, I at one point said, you know, that she and her husband and her mother all struggled with their weight, and I said, and I believe that's why she died. That's basically what I said. And uh, everyone seemed to love the video because the other 99, literally, percent of the video was uh, just uh, stories about her, stories about my high school, and people said it was great. And her daughter got a hold of it, and she completely went off on me. Um, she was completely rude to me and uh, said, you don't know how she died. You said she died because she was fat. I go, I absolutely did not say that. I said, I think that may have been a contributing factor, but I did not call her fat or obese. I said she struggled with her weight her whole life, which was true. I had known her since seventh grade, and she had always been been way above the average weight. I don't know. Is there, is there a polite way to say it? Um, I don't care anymore because, it, you know, in the end, um, people are going to hear what they want to hear. And... Uh, that will be the first and last video I take down. I, I really don't care anymore at this point. I'm going to say what I want to say. I'm going to be honest, as honest as I can be. And uh, as uh, Vin Vince Vaughn once said in a silly movie, uh, I think it was Forgetting Sarah Marshall or Couples Retreat, I know my truth, <laughs> which we all do, right? We all have our own versions of the truth. But I don't think anyone would argue with me that my classmate that I talked about, who I won't say the name of, um, did struggle with her weight her whole life, and it's not a crazy theory to go that I believe that's how she died. That's all I said. But I took the video down because a couple of friends from high school said, you know what, she's very upset, she being the daughter that lost it on me. I just blocked her. She was rude, did name-calling, and uh, I, I just don't deal with that. It's like, if you want to have a conversation like an adult, cause she's 30, she's an adult, um, we can have that conversation, and, maybe, and then I'm more apt to take the video down. But if you're just going to be completely rude and say, you don't know how she died, I go, that's true, I don't. I made a theory because I know how she lived. Uh, you know what, if you don't want to face that honesty that your mother had, um, <clears throat> had struggled with weight her whole life, that's fine. You can have that denial. 
but we know the truth, okay? Uh, and I hope she's okay, or I hope she, that her death was, I hope she didn't suffer, I hope it was relatively painless, but then all this mystery shrouded it. Even the friend that was working as a go-between between me and the daughter was like, well, that's not how she died. I go, okay, fine. Um, and I just asked, because like I said, once again, in a way, not my business, but I don't like the shroud. It just annoys me that, why, 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 is this, why do we have to put this in this shroud of mystery? So I, I asked, was it COVID related? She said, no. She said, if you really want to know, I'll tell you. I said, no, I don't. But I just, it, I find it annoying. And then, like I said I, earlier, I don't know if it's an American phenomenon, <clears throat> if this is uh, just the way humans are. But I don't get it. Like, my dad is about to die. It's, it's, it's in the cards. I mean, he may hang on. He may make it a lot longer than we expect. He has lung cancer. I'll be taking him in for his first radiation treatment, um, I believe, on Wednesday, sometime this week. Uh, I, there's going to be no mystery as to why he died and why he's been in really poor health for the last 10 years and even had health issues before that. You know, he's in denial. I'm not. You smoked for 60 years fucking years. You are dead because of cigarettes. You will die because of cancer or COPD or some, some sort of cardiopulmonary lung heart-based ailment because of putting smoke into your lungs at a high rate, two packs a day for 60 years, okay? And so I don't understand why there's a shroud. I might die of being an asshole. That's quite possible because there are times I am an asshole. I admit that. But there are also times I'm a very kind person. <laughs> I don't know. But it's just a weird thing. It's weird for me with ages and weights, too. I don't understand. It feels like a trap. When a woman asks me anymore, if she says, she's like, how old do I look to you? I go, one. You look fucking one. You look like you can barely walk and barely talk. You look one to me. And I go, oh, stop it. No, really, really what do you think? I got, I got hooked into this trap a few years ago. Um, this woman I worked with, she's about my mom's age at the time. She looked like she was around her late 60s, early 70s. And she goes, well, how old do you think I am? And I go, I looked at her, I go, uh, 68. She's like, you're exactly right. But I look 68 to you? There's no fucking winning. <laughs> you can't win. And so when anyone, a woman or anyone asks what I think their age is anymore, one, you look one. Same with weight. You look fucking one, okay? Because that's the answer you want to hear. You don't want to hear the realistic answer. If you look 150 and I guess 145, you don't want to hear that. If you are 150, you're like, well, people could swear that I'm 130. Well, maybe I'm better at guessing weights. Maybe I'm better at guessing ages. I don't understand. <laughs> I understand why we have such an issue with truth. People need more truth. Now, I'm not saying truth as a, as a reason or an excuse to be rude. Because there are a lot of assholes out there that'll do that. They'll come up to you and just tell you exactly what they think of you. And that's their truth. And there may be some truth in what they're saying to you. But there are a lot of people like my dad. My dad's that asshole. He does that to me all the time. You know, you really need to work on this, this, and this. Why? <laughs> At 53, I've worked on most of my shit. And I'm pretty happy with who I am. I, I just don't understand... <laughs> There's a lot I don't understand in this 10-minute video I'm making, but I really don't get why, why people just think they can come up to you, say whatever the, they think about you. Unless you're a total piece of shit, then maybe you need that. But if you're just like an average person that does some good, does some bad, average guy, shut the fuck up. Keep it to yourself. I don't... Especially if they don't know you. Like your friends, yeah, your friends are going to call you up. Just the people that come in, well, I'm just an honest person. No, you're an asshole without a filter. And maybe some people need to be more honest with you about the kind of person you are that just thinks they can say anything without any retribution. All right. So that was kind of a rant. But I think it was, I think it was pretty good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I just, like I said, there are a lot of things I don't understand about people. You know, and I, I just don't understand why we have unnecessary mysteries. Um, having said that, um, I'm not going to say the name of my principal um, because it feels just inter inappropriate at this time to mention her real name. But she did die today or yesterday. And uh, we had a meeting at, uh, you know, we had a Zoom meeting about it and people were very broken up about it. I wasn't as broken up because, like I said, my relationship with her was brief. But she, she was well loved by her school and it is a loss. And... Um, I just, uh, you know, we're going to get the day off tomorrow, so I guess that's nice for me. There will be grief counselors. Uh, the, the students will have the day off. Teachers, if they want to go into grief, can do that. Anyway, so there's a lot about death. 
I hope your life is going well. Live it the most you can, because you never know. As my dad likes to say, I could get hit by a fucking bus tomorrow. And it's true. <laughs> Another truth we don't want to hear, but live it the best you can. I'm not saying you have to go skydiving or climb a mountain every day, but go just try to be happy. All right, love you guys. That's my truth. I hope you find your happiness and your truth. Uh, see you guys next time. Much love, peace, be happy, be peaceful, be all that good stuff before you die. Bye.